Hey everybody, welcome to the Animated Chess Channel. Today I'm going to be learning end games on Chessable. This is part two of the course series that I'm completing the course in. Yep, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And yeah, I'm also streaming this on Twitch to two people that are currently watching it live. So thank you to those two people. Okay, so we're going to go to the next lesson. And so the king is beside the pawn, but further back. It's the same, it's the same thing. You can just two squares in front of the pawn when you can't get opposition. And then two squares in the front of the pawn, in the front of the pawn, then opposition. Then within two squares in front of the pawn. So this is just literally the same thing that we just did. So two squares in front of the pawn. You stay two squares in front of the pawn. Now you get opposition when you can't stay two squares in front of the pawn. Now you stay two squares in front of the pawn and it's a draw. Bees. So if king there, it's stalemate. And if king anywhere else, you just take the pawn. So okay. So with the it's king in front of a knight pawn this time. So with the knight pawn, you have to be a little bit careful. You have to get your king to the rook file. Otherwise, you'll get fall into a stalemate trap. So if you go here, his king can just stay in these two squares forever. And you'll never be able to queen because whenever you push and then there, you can't go there because his king will go back, right? So you would obviously go their king up, but that's stalemate. So you have to go to the rook file. And then push the pawn. Push the pawn again. And then, obviously, just queen. So then you made the runway. So get your king to the rook file. Push the pawn. Push the pawn again. Make the runway. And queen. King on the rook file. Push the pawn twice, make the runway, and queen. Okay. So you can still win this, but it's a bit diff more difficult, and the, the opponent can set up a trap. So you have to go there, and then now you get the runway, but you have to be careful here. This is what I was saying. You can't push. So if you push your pawn, the king can't go anywhere and that's stalemate. So you have to go there and then to and then it's the same position and then you go to the rook file. You can't get greedy right away and make the runway is the or you make the runway, but you can't get greedy and use it. You have to make the runway on this file. Oops. I was trying to show you guys something and it just Oops, I, was, I keep trying to show you guys something when I know that it's not. Okay. White, yeah, see, so white loses, um, is dead lost. This is the position that we were looking at. But here's the trick. that It's going to show us a trick here that white can try. Okay, so... King and b1, taking the opposition. Go to the 8 file. Push the king back. Now, look at this. It's stalemate. It messed, he messed up. And look at that. And don't go king a2. Go oh, king b1, and it's and it's the same thing that we've seen all the time. It's a draw. It is still a draw. Hey, joyful, how's it going? How are you doing, joyful scooter? I'm doing very well. I'm just teaching some end games. See, black needs to get his king on the h file, not the c file, or the a file, not the c file. That's what made all the difference. And you have to go to A1, not to B1. What B is when you go to A1, you have the move to go.
to be one. It's like a triangle. So, yeah. So it's testing us on this. You gotta go here. And then push. And then since it's the defender's move, since it's the defender's move, he can get out. You can do that, but only if it's the defender's move. So because you it's it was the defender's move there and not our move, we can go there and then make this. Because it's check and now he can't go back because check. And you clean. So that that's a little neat trick. It all depends it shows that all end games just depend on whose move it is. End games can literally decide be decided by whose move it is. There's some positions where it's if it's your move you win. If it's not your move you lose. There. Okay. So the rook pawn is useless here. You just shuffle back and forth forever. Just forever. A1, B1, A1, B1, A1, B1. And they can't do anything about it. They can never kick you out. They can just never kick you out. That's hilarious. And you just, you just never let the king make the runway. Right? You just follow the king for eternity. And the king can never make the runway. And it'll be in draw. Okay, so the king. So you gotta move your king up. So the thing is, this pawn isn't, isn't hanging, Beeson. This pawn runs up the board, and the king's one move too slow. So then you go there. And then you always grab opposition whenever you can. This is opposition as well. And now you move your pawns up. King to the side. This is opposition diagonally. And then you push your pawns. And it's just slowly. Slowly but surely you're making progress. And now. Oh my gosh. This is just. And then you make the runway finally. And then you queen and win. So, and then, <laughs> I like how it makes me find the maiden too and not, so it's, so grab opposition, opposition again, push the pawn, opposition a third time, and kind of just advance them all. You just advance all your pawns. And yeah. And that's about it. And that's the game. But I guarantee you, almost nobody, if they haven't studied like these basic end games, will not know how to do it. So it's very useful to know how to do, at the very least. So yeah, so white has to, yeah, that's right. So white's king is very far away. And... But, and, so he has to get it close. So this, b4 is a trap. If you push, and you take the, what you might think is a free pawn, Black's king can take both of your pawns. But instead, you push, you don't fall for it. And now this pawn's forever, um, it's gonna stay there. So, yeah, then this is gonna be the last position of the YouTube video. So, <laughs> so now king f3, and then you just kind of keep bringing your king in forever, and then you get opposition, and then this time you don't get opposition, you want to get your king closer, because you know that opposition it doesn't matter, because now you're winning this pawn right there. And now you're two pawns 
your connected past pawns just charge up the board forever and ever. And it's, yeah, it would be useless to try and stop them. But here, I don't agree with C7. Actually, I do. No, I, yeah, I don't. I don't agree with C7. I would have gone king there and made the runway right away, but this move also works. So, you just push your pawn, and then you make the run. Oop! And then you make the runway. And then you queen. So, kind of just keep bringing the king in. Oop! It's an alternative. But you just forever bring the king in. And then push the pawn to get to that pawn. So you can get to that pawn. Move over and run your pawns up the board. And then bring your king up with them. And then make the runway. And then queen. It is an alternative, huh? And then, just block it. Bring the king in. Get an opposition. Bring the king as close as possible. Win the pawn. And move out of the way. Run the pawn up the board. Run the king up the board. Run the pawn up the board. Make the runway. And queen. Thank you so much for watching it this YouTube video. Yep, it was part two of the basic endgames course theory playlist thing that I'm doing. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Ask any questions or anything that you want to know about the layout. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash animated chess. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.